Hello folks, I would like to welcome you to our next semi-exciting episode of the Tesla Project. Uh, arrayed before me here, we have a Generation 3 or Gen 3 uh, battery charger from a Tesla Model S. Um, this is the next version up from the Gen 2 charger uh, that you will have seen me working on in previous videos. Now, the Gen 3 charger um, basically gives us more power per phase module and integrates the high voltage junction box. So it's, n it's now one complete unit. You put your three phase neutral and, and earth in on this end, connect the high voltage battery here and you are done. Now. Um, I've had this on the bench for some, well I've had it here for some, some time now, it was very uh, kindly donated to me by a German gentleman and uh, I finally over the last few days managed to get a bit of a test bench rig set up here so that we could uh, start messing with it. Uh, I'll give you guys a close up on uh, some of what we've got going on here now in a minute but uh, the big announce is uh, that just now about 10 minutes ago, ago we got a phase module to go through its initi initialization uh, routine and basically turn on and uh, try to deliver power. Now it wouldn't have been able to deliver power and I'll explain why that is. It's just to do with the test jig that I have here at the minute. Um, but I've never seen one of these, or well, I've never seen a Gen 2 charger go through the initiation uh, and try to deliver power and not deliver power. So I'm pretty sure we have this thing cracked. Now there's some... Uh, difficulties here uh, in the new design um, and about how we're going to go about um, you know designing our own control system for this charger with the gen 2 charger it was a very simple plug-in logic board that we simply had to recreate -cre uh, with some of our own control hardware and software on there Okay, so let's. I'm going to get the camera in closer here and we'll give you guys a bit of a view um, on what we have going on and then uh, a few ideas that I have on how we're going to um, yeah, fit a logic board in here. Alright, so my GoPro is falling apart. Sorry. So, um, a lot like the Gen 2 charger. The Gen 3 is comprised of three power modules. Uh, you will see we have one of the modules powered up at the minute. Uh, that is the phase 3 module here. That's the one that we've been working on. Um, up here in the high voltage junction box uh, section, we have got neutral um, here, which is basically common across the three modules. And we have live uh, connected here, which is the live for the uh, phase three module. I just got a bit of mains flex, uh, just going to a 13 amp plug there that I've been just using to apply mains. Now, in order to get one of these chargers to wake up, it needs to think that it's connected to a high voltage battery in an electric car. Um, I don't have a spare high voltage battery sitting around. Uh, so yesterday morning I got a bit of an idea and uh, I let this idea speak for itself for a minute. So what we've uh, got here is pretty crazy. But uh, for those of you that haven't guessed, uh, what I have are 25 9 volt uh, PP3 batteries connected in, in series. 
um, I've got a diode in there so that the charger cannot force current back into them because these are alkaline batteries and forcing current back into them uh, could get you know it could get it could get interesting so there's a blocking diode in there to prevent uh, current flow going back into the battery got two uh, connectors and we got about 238 237 volts DC uh, going into the charger and have those connected to the um, the high voltage battery terminals there now getting back around to the front uh, of things here I'm going to sit myself down and we'll kind of talk you guys through this here a bit now up on the front side of the charger here um, we have the logic board in in fact uh why don't i go ahead and put the camera on a tripod and not be total blair which hang on a sec all right hope that's a bit better than me blair witching it so the logic board is vertical and is is this card here that runs the length of the front of the charger and it connects to the phase modules with these solder terminals of which there are eight um, connections. Now interestingly these eight connections uh, are the exact same format as they are on the Gen 2 charger. Albeit in the case of the Gen 3 they're basically soldered directly. Uh, there's a kind of a board to board connector in here. Uh, that's connecting the logic board to the uh, PCB. So, uh, what we've had to do is to remove some of the musk goo, which is, is this stuff uh, that he secreted over the terminals here. And that's allowed us then on the phase 3 module to kind of tap in there and uh, figure out what we've got going on. Now, what it is, um, I'll have a diagram of this on the GitHub. But well, we've got 12 volts, um, so from left to right, 12 volts ground, um, charger activate, which you need to supply voltage to, to um, turn on the module, that's on the third pin. Uh, the phase enable line is the fourth pin, so when, you're, when you send the CAN me messages to tell the charger to go, you basically pull that guy high. Um, pin 5 is can low, pin 6 is can high, pin 7 is the mystery pin, same as we have on the uh, Gen 2, and pin 8, the last pin, is the 5 volt uh, su supply. Now, when you apply uh, battery 12 volts to the normal charger connections here, so basically ground and uh, and kind of 12 volt plus, uh, plus here all the modules wake up for maybe 10 seconds and then the um, the logic board puts them uh, sleep now it does maintain the 12 volt feed uh, from the external terminal to the uh, to uh, pin 1 here across all the modules so what we're doing is we're now um, applying a 5 volts from another power supply directly uh, to uh, to that to that pin 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 eight, which is basically forcing the phase three module to wake up. Um, it's still drawing its tw its 12 volt power through the normal pins. Uh, we're then applying the phase enable, uh, which is this guy. Or sorry, the, the active activation line and the phase enable line here with these two uh, yellow clips. That gets your phase module on, which gives you the first red LED here. And um, basically, the second red LED comes on when the charger initiates. Uh, so I've left that here just to kind of show you, you guys, that we did actually get it to wake up. Um, so obviously what's occurring uh, here now when we give the phase mo module a go si si signal is it's going through its initialization 
um, and then it's trying to feed power into our uh, fake ba uh, battery can't do that because of the blocking diode so you get a alert on the charger that the um, I would say that it falls out on the output voltage going too high uh, so I put a meter on that and you can see the needle give a kick uh, when the when the power comes on so in order to fully test this I'm going to need it connected to a real world battery of some form um, but that's just about where we're at at the minute. Um, also connected to the logic board is this 24-way TE connector here uh, that's leading down into the high voltage junction box uh, section of our charger. So that's it guys. Um, just wanted to run you through basically what we've got going on here. Um, removing this logic board, I've looked at it uh, and it's not something that I'm going to attempt to do. Uh, so short of being able to run the charger via its factory logic board, which let's face it, we're probably not going to be able to do, uh, we're going to have to come up with a clever means of leaving this board in here, but still running our, um, our own uh, logic control board um, for our phase mo modules. Oh yeah, so one thing to mention is that the CAN messages uh, both from the logic board and all three of the phase modules are identical to those on the Gen 2 charger. So I'm basically running uh, Tom Debris software there that he wrote for the Gen 2 charger and this guy just fires up. But what we've got here is a charger capable of 72 amps. Um, it's, yeah, it's, it's fanta fantastic charger. Uh, so I can't wait to get this in a, a car uh, with a real battery and start pushing some power into it. Uh, but before we can do that, uh, uh, do that, uh, I gotta work out a means of interfacing to it with a custom logic board. Um, so that's, uh, that's kind of the big, uh, the big stuff that we've got here hardware wise. Alright folks, so I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, it's been a while since we've hacked some Tesla hardware. Uh, so we have other Tesla hardware that we're going to be hacking. Um, we've got the DC-DC converter. We've got the air conditioning pump. And very soon... Uh, we are going to have the center display. Woohoo! So do stay with us. Uh, check links in the description uh, for my Patreon and uh, PayPal if you would like to financially support some of this madness. And um, also, link in the description will be to my. Um, my head's melted today. Link in the description to my head melting device. Uh, to my GitHub, where you can download um, info for free uh, on what I've worked out for all of this uh, stuff. So, Tesla chargers, drive units, all that stuff's free there. And also, be a link in the description to my web shop if you want to buy boards or stuff like that. So, alright, that's enough of me plugging myself. We will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and happy Tesla charger testing. <laughs>